Yeah, this is representing the healing that we're going through. And this is kind of corny and kind of cheesy. And there's and part of me is kind of like, okay, spirit. But with this Ten of Cups, it's like spirit is saying to us that we're moving forward towards some sort of happily ever after. Okay, spirit. Like, does that even exist? I mean, that's fairy tale land, but like, okay, spirit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just jaded. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general collective tarot reading. Yes, please keep in mind this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. As always, make sure to like, share, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and comment. I love hearing from you guys. And try and make sure to watch as much of the video as you can. This is a general reading, yeah? So not everything is going to resonate for everybody, so you don't really want to miss any of the messages. There may be some more messages for you later on in the video, who knows, whatever. So just a gent uh, uh, friendly suggestion there. <coughs> okay, guys, um, so there's a lot of healing happening. Um, and uh, I'm going to talk through some things. Timestamps will be found in the description box and the pinned comment below if you want to get straight to the reading. But um, I do feel like, you know, um, whatever I'm going to say here would be connected to the reading. So pay attention if you'd like. Uh, but there is definitely a lot of healing that's happening right now. I personally am going through a pretty major shift. Um, if you tuned in, uh, actually, if you didn't get a chance to watch Happy Hour last night, I highly recommend you do so. We did talk about the new moon on tomorrow, actually, on the 9th. Um, in terms of sidereal astrology, the new moon is in Gemini, of course, in tropical or mainstream astrology, it's in Cancer. But there are a lot of union energies coming through for the collective. Um, there are various readers that have been channeling that, myself included. Um, from my point of view, for us here on this channel, this union has a lot to do with inner union. And we've been talking about that for a long time. Getting to a point, getting to a place where we are, we are fusing the masculine and feminine within us. Um, but in order to do that, there's a lot of healing that's happening. And part of the message that came through yesterday or last night in happy hour was that, um, you know, there is some deeper, much, much, much deeper healing that we're gaining access to. Um, or there are deeper parts of ourselves, our psyche, our traumas that we're able to gain access to in order to heal. And that's because of the healing that's already been done. Okay. All the work that you've already been done now, or all the work that you have already done. And now you are able to go deeper. And for some people... There are some things, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm really wet right now. My hair is so wet. It's like dripping, but you like, look, 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 even my shirt is wet. Okay, anyway, um, I showered this morning. Okay, anyway, um, <laughs> uh, ah, fuck, I lost my place, my train of thought. Um, so for many of us, uh, there are some things there, for some of us, there are some new things that are coming up that you're able to access now, you're ready to deal with, you're ready to face. For others of us, my, like myself, it's not new stuff. It's kind of the same stuff. I kind of want to say the same old thing, but like not really, because like I said, it might be some of the same things that you've dealt with healing in the past, and you may have thought you were done healing it. But if it's coming back up, excuse me, if it's coming back up at this point, there is a deeper element you've gained access to and that you're able to heal it even more now <clears throat> than you were the last round. And that's what I've been experiencing. There are certain things that are coming back up for me to heal that I can, it's like I'm getting closer and closer to the root of the situation. And there is a lot of physical change that's coming with that. Like for me personally, and we talked about this in happy hour last night, I, but I'll, I'll paraphrase it for now, but I definitely recommend that you guys go check that out. Um, but for me personally, it involves not smoking cigarettes. And if you've been watching me for long enough, you know, you've seen me do it. I smoke 
or at least I have. I've smoked cigarettes, I've smoked tobacco for <clears throat> almost 21 years now. I'm 34. I started smoking when I was 13. Um, and part of my understanding is that uh, because I wanted to, I, ever since I was a very young kid, I have always wanted to smoke cigarettes. And it's been a coping me mechanism. And for me, it was never about the chemicals. It was never a chemical dependency. It was an energetic band-aid. And in this last round of purging, this last round of healing that I've been going through, um, it kind of worked out perfectly because I ran out of nicotine I ran out of rolling tobacco. I, I, I smoke, normally I smoke American Spirits, but the, the turquoise one, the, not the dark blue, the turquoise, it's almost like a greenish pack, but it's not the green ones either because the green ones are menthol. I don't like menthol, even though I used to smoke Cools when I was in my 20s. <coughs> anyway, um, uh, anyway, so, but they don't sell that rolled here, so I have to buy it loose, and then I roll it myself, and I've been using organic hemp papers, and blah, 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 but I've also been smoking them unfiltered, and for me, I need, I need that feeling, like, I don't like to vape, and I definitely don't like smoking light cigarettes, because it's like, you're just smoking air, like, I want to feel something, and the reason for that was because my heart chakra has been damaged as all get a fucking get out right and it's been an energetic mask and i didn't really understand that until this round of purging this round of healing because like i said i ran out of tobacco and um the universe kind of reinforced the fact that we don't want you to buy more of that right now eric actually we don't want you to buy any more of it at all but right now don't buy another bag of tobacco and i was like all right cool i can do that and I, in my ashtray i had a little bit of a cigarette left i had a few that i was gonna try and like you know because i was kind of desperate at that point and i spilled a glass of water and it went all over and it ruined all of what i had left over and so then i was like oh really can't do it really it's time to let this go now eric and i was like all right cool so as i've been and this was like this was like almost two days ago now. And so as I've been dealing with the energies um, and focusing on the healing and going through the purging process and focusing on what's coming up and seeing it from a deeper point of view now than I was able to see it the last time it came and up and blah, blah, blah. I started to recognize, I started to recognize that when certain things came up, when I thought of certain things, when I started to feel certain things, that's when I was triggered to smoke. And it was never... Uh, it was never a, um, a chemical thing for me because I could always stop smoking. Like I, it was, it was never like a situation where it, where it was like, I, I need the nicotine. It's like, no, there was even a point right before, uh, there was even a point a few months ago where it was just the nicotine was so intense that it, it physically made me feel ill, but I just kept smoking because I needed that mask. I needed that band aid. Well, not anymore. And, well, at least not now, at this point. I'm really not trying to make any promises, you guys. Anything can happen. And I'm not going to try and sit here and set myself up for failure and do what I did last time and declared that I'm never, I'm, I quit smoking and I'm not going back. And then two months later, I start smoking again. Like, what the fuck ever. Like, whatever. We're just going to take it. We're going to take it one situation one step at a time right but even in 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 it's in it's obvious that there to me at least it's obvious that there's a deeper level of healing that's happening at this point because even in terms of not smoking cigarettes my body literally 24 once i hit that 24 hour mark of not having had a cigarette my lungs started to purge I could feel, like, I feel the discomfort. I feel everything breaking up. I, like, it, I literally, at this point, I feel like I have a cold. I know I don't. I, like, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's the effect of not having the nicotine, not having the chemicals in my body, and my lungs cleaning themselves out. 
I literally feel like I have a chest cold and I don't get sick. I don't, I, 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 I'm gonna be very honest with you, I don't remember the last time I've gotten sick. I never caught COVID. I mean, and even if I did catch COVID, I, I, then I was asymptomatic or some shit, I don't know. I don't get sick. Um, and I feel it. And I've, and I've not, I've stopped smoking before, you know what I mean? But it, I have not felt like this. I literally feel like I have a cold, like I have a chest cold. And it's crazy how deep, how deep this healing is going, this excavation process I just heard, yeah? So that's what, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what's going on with the collective right now, at least for us. <clears throat> Again, I highly recommend that you check out that reading last night for happy hour. That is in terms of uh, messages for this new moon in Gemini. Depending on what, I, uh, let's not get into that right now. Anyway, so yeah, check that out, you guys. It's a really good video. Um, it's a really good message. A lot of awesome discussion through that, yeah? All right, you guys, we're going to get into this. Um, and let's see what messages we have for the collective. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. So very much spirit all right guys five shuffles one on top of the fact this is a, a fun a funny little sidebar on top of the fact that i'm not smoking right now um this is two my coffee maker has gone on the fritz and it was just around the time that i was starting to make that extra pot of coffee like i i normally would only make one drink the whole thing before I even have breakfast and then go about my day. But lately I've been making two pots and now the coffee maker, like there's something wrong. There must be some sort of clog in it because it's heating the water, but the water is not coming up and going into the basket and going through the coffee. Is this two? Yeah, or no, maybe this is, fuck, this is two. Um, and so that's just really interesting. So I'm not smoking, no nicotine and no caffeine, but I am drinking some tea. I made a spearmint tea. I have a spearmint plant in my backyard. This is three that um, I can make fresh mint tea from. And so it's actually really nice. I'm surprised I'm not like a raging maniac right now <laughs> this is for <coughs> good lord you guys and this is five here we go so what's going on for the collective what do you want to discuss with the collective right now please do First card out is the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups to Temperance. What this is saying to me is we are literally on our way to some sort, some form of happiness uh, fulfillment. I am hearing wish fulfillment. We don't have the Star or the Nine of Cups here, but I did just hear wish fulfillment. Uh, five of Swords in reverse. Uh, the High Priestess, and then at the bottom of the deck we do have the Knight of Pen. I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. Um, 
All right, so first and foremost, here, Five of Swords is in reverse, giving up the fight, walking away from the battles. This, this, to be honest with you guys, this Five of Swords energy here feels like the deep healing that we're doing, okay? Instead of fighting the old, the same old fight, there is a level of giving up the fight. Putting the sword down, picking your battles, laying your sword down, and walking away from this struggle. Whatever this is for you, or whatever this has been for you, okay? And this is... I mean, this is more of that 2 2 2 energy. There's, there's temperance again. Sorry. Bugs are flying around. I'm making sure it's not a mosquito. Temperance. And temperance was that energy that was coming through that was asking us to, to balance, to settle out, to rest. Okay, to, to, to be patient. Yeah, this is representing the healing that we're going through. And this is kind of corny and kind of cheesy. And there's and part of me is kind of like, okay, Spirit. But with this Ten of Cups, it's like Spirit is saying to us that we're moving forward towards some sort of happily ever after. Okay, Spirit. Like, does that even exist? I mean, that's fairy tale land. But like, okay, Spirit. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just jaded. We do have the High Priestess here. Let's talk about this. What's the High Priestess? What's the High Priestess for the Collective? The Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Um, Eight of Cups. So either... Okay, well, the first thing that I got with the High Priestess here, and then the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, the first thing that I got from the High Priestess is that you're going to have to trust us. There are some elements to this situation that you are being guided to move forward towards. You're being guided to complete. You're being guided to undertake. There are steps you're being asked to take. And you need to trust that you're being guided to move in the right direction. Eight of Cups to the Nine of Pentacles. There's something that you have to leave behind. And the big thing that I'm feeling for the collective in terms of this is... Um, uh, this is the healing. Whatever it is that you're walking away from or whatever this Eight of Cups energy is, it literally feels like you're no longer struggling against it or you're no longer forcing yourself to stay in this realm that you've been in for the longest time because it felt comfortable to you or because it was what was known to you. The Nine of Pentacles is giving, speaking to having the independence, the wherewithal, the inner strength, to walk away from what is no longer serving you. And by you walking away from this, this creates a massive change for you. A massive change in destiny. It's like the high priestess or these universal energies or these mysterious universal energies can finally start to bring in the things that you've been asking for. The things that you've been working towards. Three of Pentacles. Okay. And for some of us, or for some of you, um... It's what you, this is what you've needed to do all along. You just may not have been ready for it yet. But at this point, I feel like you're def you definitely are. Okay. For others of you, the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups here is, is talking about the High Priestess. And the High Priestess, for some of you, for some of us, represents you being an authority in your own life. You being connected to that higher sense of wisdom, that higher guidance, and it channeling through you. A higher sense of awareness, uh, psychic activity, maybe your, um, your psychic faculties or your psychic abilities or your clairvoyant abilities or your empathic abilities have come online. And you're standing in your power. Sorry, my hair is still dripping. <laughs> anyway. This is really beautiful energy. Um, I want to get into some clarification. And I definitely want to start with the Five of Swords in reverse here. This is a really good thing. I mean, the only thing that I, the only definition that I can give to this right now, you guys, is 
laying down your sword, laying down you, the, the fight, stopping the battle, stopping the struggle in favor for, of like that sappy, like unconditionally loving, like Disney fairy tale, happy, sh happy go lucky shit. The Ten of Cups. And like, I'm trying not to be, I'm trying, I'm not to, <laughs> <clears throat> I'm trying not to be a cynical bitch, but at the same time, it's like, ugh. Can we, like, not with that? We all know that is a fairy tale. We all know, like, I'm, I'm cynical. But you get it. Whatever, whatever your ultimate happiness, whatever your ultimate truth is, that is what you're moving forward towards. That is what you're giving up this fight in order to bring balance and harmony towards. Okay? It literally feels like it literally feels like this five of swords literally feels like you not sticking around to hash that out any longer or to battle that any longer or staying in some sort of low vibrational state any longer because better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Okay. Five shuffles. One. Two. Three, four, and five. All right, so let's talk about the Five of Swords in reverse here. We have the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck so far. It was, yeah, the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords are, at, are, are showing themselves so far. So you being in this energy was because of some sort of lack mentality, feeling left out in the cold, not feeling good enough, not feeling like you, could, you were worthy enough to stand up against whatever this was. It had you in fight or flight mode is what I'm hearing. Okay, constant, a constant energy of fight or flight. Okay, what is the Five of Swords in reverse for the collective here? Please, Spirit. What's the Five of Swords in reverse? So, what's happening here? What's happening? Oh, damn. And then there's the Ten of Cups again. Okay. So what's happening here is uh, we are finally moving forward with what our heart truly desires. And for some of us, that's healing, physical healing. Okay, for me, that resonates with the, uh, the energies of putting up stronger boundaries and not allowing myself to slip back into the toxic and negative co uh, 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 coping mechanisms that I have. That includes drinking, that includes smoking. I mean, I'm still smoking a little bit of weed here and there, but like, but like I had, to, I literally had to balance that out because part of me, and some of you even said this last night as we were talking through this, but part of me was like, well, let me just smoke more weed and that'll, you know, that'll make up for it. It's like, well, no, wait a second. Hold on. I don't want to be high all day. It's fucking seven in the morning. Like I don't need to be waking and baking. I've got shit to do. You know what I mean? So we have the five of swords in reverse, which is clarified by the star. So there's the wish fulfillment I was picking up on. The star, but this is also the healing, okay? The Knight of Cups, all right? Healing, wish fulfillment, but also healing, moving forward with your heart's desire, Queen of Pentacles, knowing your worth, knowing your value, finally honoring that in some cases. Recognizing that you're worth so much more and you don't need to keep fighting for whatever this was in the past, whether this be a relationship, a circumstance, a family dynamic, a friendship dynamic, like whatever, whatever has been toxic, whatever has been um, defeating, whatever has been a lose-lose situation, you're finally giving that up in service of greater happiness. Ten of Cups twice. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to look at this High Priestess energy again. High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. 
It just literally feels like you're finally listening to the universe in some way. Okay. I put way too much honey in that tea. <laughs> All right, we're going to... We're looking at the High Priestess here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, yeah? All right, so what is this? High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. What is this, please, Spirit? Interesting. We're back to the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. <sighs> and we have the Emperor in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And, but then underneath the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck is the King of Swords upright. There was some sort of commitment. Like you were you you were seriously committed to trying to work something out in the past. Some trying to work something from the past out. And that's what was creating this five of swords in reverse type of energy. But what we're saying here with the emperor in reverse and the knight of pentacles in reverse, you're no longer doing this. You're no longer persevering. This Knight of Pentacles energy definitely feels like the type of energy that is um, procrastinating or is, is continuously working or obsessing over one thing that really just needs to be let go of and released and moved on from. There was a sense of duty. There was a sense of, need, of needing to do the right thing. That's what I'm getting from the Emperor here. Okay, but you've come to recognize Five of Pentacles, King of Swords. You've come to recognize that this, you've come to see it for what it truly is. And instead of continuing to be committed to this, instead of continuing to persevere and try to make it happen or try to make it work or something, instead, you're finally taking the advice of the universe and are standing in your own, on your own, uh, in your own independence and sovereignty and moving away from that, letting that go, releasing. I'm he also hearing releasing the fear. Releasing the fear of walking away from it. Okay. That's good. It's very good, you guys. Very, very good. All right. Uh, I'm going to close this out. Let's go with... What do we want? We're going to go with the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Upside down. <laughs> All right. Sacred Destiny. Five shuffles here. Closing Oracle Guidance. Yeah, one. Two. Three. Four, and five. All right, closing Oracle Guidance here. Protection. One of the most potent signs on the sacred landscape is the ancient oak. It carries, it carries numerous meanings. You are protected. You can weather anything. Your roots go deep. You are brave and you can survive anything. Stand strong. You carry the energy of a leader and you have a great authority and you have great authority in life. Great wisdom is expanding within you and others sense this. This card can also mean to protect your assets, 
take care to guard and protect your home, your loved ones, and yourself. Excellent. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mm -hmm.